here is the fungus Fomitopsis pinicola. It's a Latin name. It is a fungus very common in all coniferous forests in the northern hemisphere. If it is so common, why would it still arouse our interest? Fomitopsis pinicola, the red belt conch, is very often confused with Ganoderma lucidum in Europe and Asia and with Ganoderma tsuge in North America. So, if you find the medicinal fungus Ganoderma lucidum, do not be so happy. Check that it is not the red belt conch. Canoderma lucidum is much, much harder to find. However, if you have found Fomitopsis pinicola, you should not be upset. And this mushroom is also a medicinal mushroom, although with a narrower spectrum than the famous Ganoderma lucidum. Fomitopsis pinicola Fruiting bodies have been used in folk medicine as hemostatic and uh, anti-inflammation agents. Extracts and isolated compounds from Fomitopsis pinicola have demonstrated various biological activities including antioxidant, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and cytotoxic. However, the information I found about this fungus shows that studies are in its infancy and I would not recommend its medicinal use in excess. In fact, I do not recommend anything in excess. Excess food leads to obesity and all the diseases associated with it. Excessive alcohol consumption leads to dramas of all kinds. Excessive walk leads to exhaustion and implicitly illness of the body. Excessive generosity can lead to poverty. Love for a person in excess can lead to jealousy and all the troubles generated by it. Excessive learning leads to mental disorders behavioral disorders, social and emotional maladaptations. Excessive faith leads to religion's fundamentalism. Even passion is an excess of dedication for a certain thing, although it is the engine of many good things its excess can become an obstacle in the correct assessment of the reality of the world around us and the inner world too. And we could talk about excess indefinitely. But we can't because it would be an excess. Returning to the fungus Fomitopsis pinicola is considered a major pest of coniferous forests because it reduces wood mass by consuming cellulose. Harmful from one point of view, useful from another point of view. This fungus increases 
biodiversity and enhances wildlife habitat. The fungus performs essential nutrient cycling functions in these forests by decomposing stems, branches, roots and boles of dead trees. Cavities created by the fungus in standing trees provide crucial habitat for many wildlife species and birds. The rules of life do not overlap with the economic rules of human civilization. We must learn to respect the laws that sustain and continue life on our planet. This pine tree cut by our souls, it would have brought us a gain of 50 euros or 500 euros. This pine tree Felled by the fungus Phomitopsis pinicola brings continuity and biodiversity to earth life. One day, with all the money in the world, we will no longer be able to have the animals, the birds, the plants, the trees destroyed by human greed. We will live in an aquarium, watching through the window the other sinister aquariums of human civilization. And we will wait hungry for our masters, those who destroy the planet, to throw us the crumbs left from their feast. A wonderful life for all of us.